uh, to impact a game defensively. Very, very uh, strong, well-rounded package. Every summer, our Corey Miller goes down on the farm to get the latest on Cardinals prospects. This year, it's a trio of young arms turning heads. That's why we sent to Corey to Springfield to check in on the future of Cardinals pitching. That is tonight's Spotlight Story. We've got to hit on some pitching. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And when you look back at the last 15, 20 years, we were getting guys that were contributing to our rotation. And I think that's the most important part we have to focus on moving forward. Well, that's right out of the mouth of the man himself, John Mosellock. The Cardinals need to develop more pitching. Right now, it looks like they are. There's a trio down in Springfield leading that charge. Hammonds Field is the place to be right now if you want to see what the future of a Cardinals rotation could look like. The names Hence, Jerpy, Matthews, Roby, Ragic are all players to know. But for now, let's focus on three, starting with the top prospect in the Cardinals system. Tink Hence is a name already known to many Cardinals fans. The 2020 draft pick is electric, has made two Futures games, and has dominated double-A this year with 73 strikeouts in 54 innings pitch. It's not just heat, though. Hence has one of the best change-ups in the minors. It's amazing to see. I know a lot of times when I throw it, I'm like, ooh, but it just, it just so happened to just fall off the table. Although he's already seen fellow draft classmates Mason Wynn, Jordan Walker, and Alec Burleson reach the majors, Hence is staying patient. He knows his time is coming. Sometimes you can say that I can feel like, damn, like I feel like I'm ready now and, and that. But a lot, of, a lot of it is really just trusting time because I know eventually that I'm going to figure it out and then it's, from there it's just going to be history. The next hurler to know is a man on a meteoric rise. Lefty Quinn Matthews started the year in Palm Beach and in no time he was in Peoria. Now he's already at Double A Springfield. The Stanford alum has a 2.22 ERA across all levels this season, averaging 12.7 strikeouts per nine. That earned him a trip to the Futures game in Arlington, but this Cali kid stays cool. Left-handed pitchers were all a little quirky. We all kind of do things a little differently, which, you know, makes us left-handed at the end of the day. In terms of competitiveness, I'm off the charts, so I try not to really show that all the time. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty chill for the most part. I cut my hair, but I had like that stereotypical like surfer kind of flow going and stuff like that. But there's definitely a little bit in bits and pieces of life that you just have a SoCal influence on you and that's just the way it is. It's not just stuff with Matthews either. The lanky lefty is durable. Need proof? He once threw 156 pitches in a playoff game in college. Throughout my lifetime, I've always thrown a lot, and it's just given me the opportunity to stay healthy. And I mean, the biggest thing in sports is health and being available. So if you're always available, then you're going to get your opportunities, hopefully. The last of the trio has a delivery that's hard to forget, but it's all natural for 2022 first rounder Cooper Jerpy. It's just an evolution of, of my delivery. I don't know. I can't explain to you how it came to be, but um, it's just felt natural to me ever since. And um, obviously coaches didn't want to change anything because it's pretty deceptive. Jerpy's delivery and stuff have also fast-tracked him from Peoria to Springfield this year with 76 strikeouts in 52 innings. His last two starts, just five inning outings with no hits allowed in either of them, with Springfield finishing off the no-no last time out. Together, this could be the most talented stable of arms the Cardinals have had on the farm in quite a while and they know it. We always try to keep stay here, but it's, it's it, sometimes we have no choice but to think about the future and, and what we could be. Our program and our, our development with these guys is, is huge, and um, we're a pretty special group of guys. The organization hasn't produced a homegrown all-star starting pitcher since Carlos Martinez in 2017. One of these guys could certainly be that next guy, but they have varied viewpoints on visualizing their eventual big league debuts. I'm thinking game seven of the World Series, man. I want the ball every time. That's what, that's what a kid dreams of. Zero. I've never even thought about it, to be honest with you. That's not the focus, and the focus is just to get better. And if the opportunity comes, you've done all the prep work up until that point, and truthfully, it's just another start. You can't make the moment, in my opinion, any bigger than it is. Especially this offseason, we talk big on imagination and just pitching yourself in them shoes, picturing myself being up there and helping to win more. So that's all I can imagine. Reporting from Springfield for Sports Plus, I'm Corey Miller.
This Five on Your Side St. Louis City SC coverage is sponsored by Together Credit Union.